Nurse, where's my daughter? Call her forth to me. Now by my maiden head at twelve year old, I bade her come. What lamb? What ladybird? God forbid, where's this girl? What Juliet? How now, who calls? Your mother. Madam, I am here. What is your will? This is the matter. Nurse, give leave a while. We must talk in secret. Nurse, come back again. I have remembered me. Thou's here our counsel. Thou knowest my daughter is of a pretty age. Faith, I can tell her age into an hour. She's not fourteen. Only fourteen of my teeth. And yet to my dear me spoken I have but four, she is not fourteen. How long is it now till I must die? A fortnight in all days. Even or odd of all days in the year, come Lammas Eve at night, shall she be fourteen? Susan and she, God rest all Christian souls, were of an age. Well, Susan is with God, she was too good for me. But as I said, on Lammas Eve at night, shall she be fourteen? That shall she. Mary, I remember it well. Tis since the earthquake, now eleven years, and she was weaned. I shall never forget it. Of all the days of the year upon that day. For I then laid wormwood to my dog, sitting in the sun under the dove-house wall. My lord and you were then at Mantua. Nay, do I bear a brain. But as I say, when I did taste the wormwood on the nipple of my dog, and felt it bitter, pretty fool to see it touchy and fall out with the dog. Shake, quoth the dove-house. Twas no need, I trow, to bid me trudge. And since that time it is eleven years, for then she could stand alone. Nay, by the roof she could have run and waddled all about. For even the day before she broke her brow. And then my husband, God be with his soul, he was a merry man, took up the child. Yea, quoth he, dost thou fall upon thy face? Thou wilt fall backward when thou hast more wit, wilt that now jewel? And by my holy day, the pretty wretch leapt crying and said, I to see now how a jest shall come about. I warrant, and I shall live a thousand years, I should never forget it. Wilt thou now, Jewel? quoth he. And pretty fool, it stinted and said, I. <laughs> Enough of this, I pray thee, hold thy peace. Yes, madam, yet I cannot choose but laugh, to think it shall leave crying and say, I. And yet I warrant, it had upon its brow a bump as big as a young cockerel stone. A perilous knock, and it cried bitterly. Yea, quoth my husband, false upon thy face. Thou wilt fall backward when thou comest to age, wilt thou now, Jewel? It stinted and said, I. <laughs> and thou stint too, I pray thee, nurse, say I. Peace, I have done. God mark thee to his grace. Thou wast the prettiest babe that e'er I nursed. And I might live to see thee married once. I have my wish. Mary. That Mary is the very theme I came to talk of. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? It is an honour that I dream not of. An honour! Were not I thine only nurse, I would say thou hast sucked wisdom from thy teeth. Well, think of marriage now. Younger than you, here in Verona, ladies of esteem are made already mothers. By my count, I was your mother much upon these years that you are now a maid. Thus then, in brief, the valiant Paris seeks you for his love. A man, young lady, lady, such a man is all the world. Why, he's a man of wax. Verona's summer hath not such a flower. Nay, he's a flower, in faith a very flower. What say you? Can you love the gentleman? This night you shall behold him at our feast. Read o'er the volume of young Paris's face, and find delight writ there with beauty's pen. Examine every married liniment, and see how one another lends content. And what obscured in this fair volume lies, find written in the margin of his eyes. This precious book of love, this unbound lover, to beautify him only lacks a cover. The fish lives in the sea, and tis much pride for fair without the fair within to hide. That book in many's eyes doth share the glory, that in gold clasped locks in the golden story. So shall you share all that he doth possess, by having him, making yourself no less. No less? Nay, bigger. Women grow by men. Speak briefly. Can you like Paris, love? I'll look to like, if looking liking move. 
but no more deep will I dot mine eye than your consent gives strength to make it fly. Madam, the guests are come, supper served up, you called, my young lady asked for, the nurse cursed in the pantry, and everything in extremity. I must hence to wait. I beseech you, follow straight. Uh, we follow thee. Juliet, the county stays. Go, go, seek happy nights to happy days. <laughs>